Greetings and welcome to the One Six Scale Man. Probably presents another episode of you know what it is. This is the Corner Definitive Take. Now this is basically my recordings. This is basically a video that we always do that I've been starting to do now because I wanted to kind of go back, do something different, Let's do a comparison, and find out what is the definitive take and what is our uh, definitive version of the figures that we actually have in our collection. Especially if you have multiple versions, you might have multiple versions of the same figure. But you might want to figure out like, okay, what is the definitive figure that we have in our collection? Which one stands out amongst the rest as the definitive? We, we throw that word around a lot. So we're here to basically talk about it. What is the definitive tape? What is the definitive figure? I'm your host, Leo Rockwell for the One Six Scale Man YouTube channel. Do me a favor if you haven't already. Hit that like button like this tells you to do. Hit that bell notification so you are always up to date as to which videos, live streams, interviews, anything that we got going on over here on the channel that you are available for it. So I definitely thank you for being here and being present um, and just being a part of this journey. Uh, so basically, before we jump into this, I wanted to kind of do a little bit of housekeeping like we always do. First off, just to let you know that we are full-fledged into the Halloween Initiative. Again, this started on August 26th, went into October 25th. This is our way of basically giving back to the community, partnered with the Salvation Army, also our charter schools within the area and also local area uh, within our neighborhoods here. Um, it is a way for us to supply costumes for kids who need it. Um, especially when they need it, especially for the holiday season. Now, we do these initiatives every year. It's the Halloween initiative, Thanksgiving initiative, and also Christmas. This one right here is full-fledged for Halloween. Now, again, all proceeds donations go towards this. Now, if you don't donate and you just want to actually supply this within your neighborhood, pay it forward. Go out there, you know, donate to your local neighborhood, your local, you know, uh, um, charities, um, you know, whether there's, you know, basically, um, you know, it might be some shelters or whatever. Any, you want, we want kids to have fun. So just take a few dollars, go out here, buy a kid a costume and just donate if you can. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't have to happen just on this channel, but can happen in life in general. We want to pay it forward. I pray about that pretty much every day. And that's what we need to do. Uh, so thank you for that. Also, before we actually jump in here, I want to pay homage to places where we actually get these figures from, because it is most important for us to always give back and pay homage to those places that always do supplies with the figures starting with my man ray over there at underground figures all day every day ray make sure that you have the figures in a timely manner not only that full transparency no nrd he will get that figure to you in such a timely manner make sure that you sign up for the newsletter so you are in now as to when your figures are coming tell him i sent you he'll take care of you also want to give a shout out to my man ray over there at hawk wars toys i called him hawk wars ray gives you a nice little care package you get the figure comic book sticker to boot as well he got all the grill pieces over here also for transparency make sure that you are always responding to him and um he'll get back to you let you know what he got you know again he takes care of us in the community such a pillar so you want to give ray over there at hawk wars toys this quick shout out also got to give a shout out to my man jacob over there comic belief comic collectibles again another individuals out there who gives you a nice little care package but maybe you get them comics you get one tip scale 112 scale anything you're looking for he got it over there so definitely want to give him a shout out also i want to give a shout out to my man brian wong over there at Maji case Maji space if you're looking for an incredible display head on over there he got that mono he has so many different things going over there but he will definitely make sure that you are taken care of so give him a shout out tell him i sent you all right. So, yes. So moving on, we want to move into a space where, again, we are doing a definitive take on these figures. We want basically to see what you think is going to be the definitive figure. Now, this is basically the definitive Steve Rogers Captain America figure from Hot Toys. Now, we've gotten quite a few from 2012 from his own film, which was Captain America, First Avenger himself. Um, so, again, you know, there's so many different figures that we've actually gotten from this line. Um, and again, we want to kind of go in and I don't want to just, you know, get too much banter back and forth because like we are pressed for time. I know you are. So let's just dive on up right on in it. 
starting with come on man this is the grail amongst grail this is basically when it all started it all started right here if you don't already know now you know it started right here with this particular figure one and i know a lot of people love this one is the captain america first avenger figure now this one again when it first dropped a lot of people that were captain america fans wanted to get their hands on this figure hot toys basically supplied it introduced us to this this is one of amongst the iron man figure but one of uh those particular figures that you know pretty much you had to have and getting this in hand it was the first official captain america figure that we actually got and you know upon getting it we were super duper excited i even think the suit still holds up i missed out on this one this wasn't one that i actually got i didn't get this in hand um i wanted it but i definitely missed out uh but again at that time though i gotta i gotta keep in mind at that time i wasn't collecting hot toys figures i didn't start collecting hot toys figures until 2015 but this was the one that actually came um available to customers again that head sculpt was on point for what we saw i mean i mean this is chris evans you can't really get his face i mean in some aspects you could but not in every you know what i mean this figure is definitely an incredible piece um with all of his his, his pistol his shield all the accessories that actually came with this figure like look at that you got everything hands guns all that you know what i mean they even actually almost exaggerated the bell bottom boots but they definitely didn't do that definitely a figure that you wanted to get in your collection now along with this one i want to kind of get into this one right here this piece right here was the um now this is the one that was more accustomed to like the classic look again you had the classic cap um in his garb and his classic spandex <laughs> if we want to call it that um but again this was uh the uh toy fair exclusive for 2013 at that time this is how far we go back it was a toy fair exclusive 2013 cap that you got him with the shield with the paper on the back of it like his his lines reading his lines when he was on stage this one definitely came with the bell bottom boots so you had a chance to get that with the spandex shorts so again uh this was one that well if you got it if you may and, and i hate that i missed out on this one because though i mean again this is the classic suit but you got a chance to see why this didn't work on camera why this didn't translate well on camera uh but it was fun to have and if you were a collector this was classic for you you wanted to have this particular piece in hand moving on though from that one we got into this particular figure right here was what is titled the rescue suit now this was the rescue cap um here captain america uh yeah the rescue it was the rescue uniform again this was half military um half cap suit um this one damn i, I hate that around the time i wasn't collecting i would have loved to have this one in the collection and, it, and here's the thing these figures that we're mentioning right now i would actually say still hold up the only thing is this wasn't a genuine leather jacket it was pleather so of course you know probably flaked on you uh but just the accessory it comes with the gun the shield again um with the captain america emblem on it the helmet goggles you know it, it you know somebody it was definitely um the symbolism in this particular figure and again did look like chris evans kind of looked a little bit wonky but still one that was definitely incredible and you know solid to basically have um so definitely excited about this piece love it um and i know if you have it in your collection you would too definitive though that's the question that we're going to get into probably a little bit later because there's a lot to kind of get to and we don't want to kind of i don't want to jump the gun on that one definitely not one uh that i would actually say you know jump the gun solely on you know what i mean it's a good piece to have i want to kind of go back here really quick uh, let's go back because there's a couple of suits that we want to definitely get into i'm on the actual hot toys page uh because i'm kind of going through here uh just to see uh what we got I'm, I'm i'm trying to see if it lets me go through here but if not we'll just you know we'll kind of just go through and pick the ones uh that we want you know i'll just do it i'll just do it from like i, I just figured i would actually go this route because going through and just going through all like every last one of these figures it, it kind of gets a little bit tedious to go through especially if you're going through like the sideshow page don't want to do that i mean or hot toys page 
don't want to do that so i was like you know what let me just go to hot toys page people probably haven't even seen this particular page before but yes they do actually have their own page but you just can't order from it okay so we're just going to actually dive in and move forward now we're going to jump into uh the captain america this is you know mainly uh uh we're going to get actually into and i want to find it here if it lets me find it because this is the one i'm looking for um it's going to be the 2012 cap now there were different iterations of that particular captain america um we have the captain america winter soldier version so if we jump into that one okay because again this is going to be the one you know that kind of speaks volumes but we want to kind of wait and to, i don't, I don't want to get into that one yet i want to get to the 2012 because the 2012 is that one uh that a lot of people you know if you got it in your hands it was the one that you definitely wanted so let's jump into this one this is the 2012 captain america right here now this was the first time we actually seen him with the avengers okay now i'm going into this particular suit it's like scaling it up because this is like the 2.0 version that we actually got from infinity actually no from endgame but it's good to bring this one up because you get the you get the riff this was the 2012 suit this to me was like an amalgamation of the classic but also what we got from the old classic 80s television show like the late 70s early 80s television show vibrant blue um again you know not the spandex but more you know material making it more, more you know accessible for modern times and i like the suit i'm not gonna lie i, I do like the suit um i like the sculpt this is probably one of my favorite suits. I, I won't lie. I'm not going to hold you. I love this suit because I definitely love what it represents. And, you know, what they were able to pull off with this, such an iconic scene right there with this between the two, but also the role he played in that 2012. I mean, that was all the Avengers together. And if you wanted to complete an Avengers set, then this was the one to have back then. Now, definitive, we're not going to get into that spread yet. It's not the space that we are in right now. We ain't diving into that definitive because I ain't going to give it that. I can't I can't give it the definitive title yet. I'm just not in that space, you know, where I want to say, hey, this is the definitive piece uh, to have in your collection. So we ain't going to march down that road yet. We still got more to go through. So we go from the 2012 to yes. Now we're going to go to um, Captain America uh, and the let me see here. Yeah. Captain America Winter Soldier okay so let's i want to get into that let me see here because that one did yeah captain america winter soldier we're going to dive into this one because this one actually came before we got into like age of ultron before we got into you know civil war this is the captain america oops oops yeah the, the golden age and this is the golden age winter soldier so this is the one where he basically went back and remember he got this particular suit uh, after he got out of his, you know, the stealth suit and the other suit that he was, because he most, because throughout the most of the movie itself, he was in his stealth suit. Now, consider that we've already seen this one, because it was again, it was his modern classic that we actually got from uh, the earlier films. Uh, we're going to actually move out of this one because we should have already talked about it. It was a revamped head sculpt, though, so the sculpt was better. I'm not going front; it was definitely a better sculpt from what we got from. Uh, the first avenger you know again golden age suit first avenger that's the one that we actually got but before we get to that one uh i want to get to his stealth suit it was a stealth strike suit that we actually got for captain america and a winter soldier and believe it or not this suit was definitely sought after by a lot of people people wanted this suit they needed to actually have it um again because it came with two shields um you know you got this one I think no as a matter of fact i think it was only one this was the one that you actually got with the figure but this was definitely a stealth suit uh one that people wanted to get in hands again this was at the beginning of the film um, that we got a chance to see this one it was one that we had never seen before so people were cramming for this again at the time i wasn't collecting so i couldn't get this in hand but it is an incredible looking suit i must say um and we're going to actually see that the there was a mock-up of this one or we actually got you know uh another stealth suit uh, that we're going to take a look at but again all the accessories that came with this one was the assort assortment of hands and the shield so again one that it was it was highly sought after for its time around that time 
Uh, but again, not yet the definitive. I don't want to actually give it that title. Can't give it that title yet. Not the place to give it that title. But definitely an incredible uh, uh, suit, you know, nonetheless. Moving on from there, though, um, we got, again, after we get out of uh, that particular suit. And again, remember a lot of this stuff that actually happened during, um, you know, Captain America Winter Soldier. We're going to move on from here and go to age of ultron and this is the age of ultron suit uh that we got uh which is definitely one uh that missed out on but nonetheless an incredible looking suit vibrant red and here's the thing like you don't really understand how much of a difference it is until you go through all these suits and you see little subtle hints subtle you know differences but this one definitely you know i think it was you know we had a, a bit more of the the, the, the star the emblem on his chest itself, the star, was a bit more exaggerated, but you got a chance to see that. They added more white around the suit, more texturized. Um, but again, we were all, I was just waiting. I was waiting for them to get to the actual chainmail suit, and they never did, um, you know, until later on. Uh, but definitely a good sculpt. We, we see the evolution of the Steve Rogers head sculpt, you know, pretty much through all of these figures. Uh, all the accessories, again, nothing different. His shield, his hands, his stand. That's basically what you got with this particular figure, right? So that's all we had, you know what I mean? We had to kind of go off of that one and just keep it moving um, because that's definitely what it represents. Now, moving on from here, I want to kind of go back. I mean, because there was another suit that we actually got um, that was introduced to us um, probably one of the most important versions, but I'm going to stick, I want to kind of go back here. Because I kind of went out of sync a little bit. So I'm going to kind of go back and forgot about one particular suit. And that was this one right here. Now, this was his civilian look from Captain America Winter Soldier. So I did forget about this after I looked at it. But yeah, it was a civilian look. It's a Steve Rogers with just his jacket on. Again, um, we got the shield, but you can actually see where it was painted. Um, and you can see basically how some of the material was wearing off of that. But at this, I would have loved to actually had this suit. I wish I would have got this costume. Would have loved to have a civilian Steve, but did not get a chance to do it. Interchangeable head sculpts that you got. And I think this even came, I believe, I'm not sure. Everybody out there, let me know in the comments. Is this coming a two-pack? Because I didn't have this. I didn't collect it. I don't know if it was a two-pack or it was like a separate figure. You might, it might have been either or. I know it was actually one that I've seen. The mock-up for this right now, secondary market is expensive. So yeah, nah um i'm not doing it because that would have killed me so i'm not gonna put myself in a running for that so moving on from that particular suit uh we are going to get into a bit more here so now basically moving on for now i'm going to move on to this that this was a concept suit very important suit to me uh because to be quite honest in my collection when i started collecting cap this was the very first captain america suit that I had in my collection. Did it because I love the concept. I love the, the it was a concept to uh, Captain America and a Winter Soldier. Definitely a beautiful version. I love this suit. Look at this, look at this. And this way, it looks like it would look, it looks beautiful. I love this suit. You got two shields. The body on this was in proportion. I think the head sculpt was decent. Everything that you got from this suit was phenomenal. I love it. I love it. This was, and I managed to get this because it was a comic. It was a, an exclusive. So I did get this. Purely excited about it. Glad I had it before it sold out. Uh, but definitely, it is in a running. It is in a running for definitive. Um, uh, you know, a few people were looking at it. They were trying to cram to get it. Not too many people were able to get it. But, you know, again, one that you want to actually have in your collection. So such a beautiful figure there uh moving on from there i mean come on man i'm telling you we ain't scratching the surface we almost there but we ain't there yet because there were so many different figures uh that that were in the running at that time now we got to this one we got to the age of ultron but now we're going to actually get to civil war okay because because from civil war on up is when things changed it's when things took a totally different turn you know what i mean uh you know cap you know definitely did change up slightly you know slightly a bit uh starting with this because we got two versions of the civil war suit it was this particular version that we got first and then we also got the battle damage version of the civil war suit 
So this is his Civil War look. Again, this movie was phenomenal because it was the very first time we got a chance to see two teams pitted against each other. Such an iconic book gave us one of the most iconic scenes with Tony Stark and in uh, Captain America. Um, you know, you are if you know, you know. If you've seen the movie, you already know. Uh, but definitely an incredible piece, man. Um, one that I never got a chance again. It was a lot of these that I missed out on. But we're starting to see, like I said, it's, it's beautiful to see the evolution of Steve Rogers. It is. It's beautiful to see all of these things coming to fruition and how beautiful these pieces are and how basically they take, they take the mold of the sculpt and they evolve it. And it just continues to evolve. Uh, so again, this is what we got the swappable face plates. You got that crossbone skull, a helmet itself, exorbitant hand shield. Definitely, uh, you know, a, a, a beautiful figure there. Um, and then from this, we go, there was also the battle damage version. So it was this particular version, which was a clean version. But then we also got the battle damage version and the battle damage version. Um, not and again, it's not too dissimilar from, uh, you know, this one. And this is well, it's not the battle damage, but it's called the battling uh, 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 version of the suit. Um, but yeah, with this one, it came with the stand. Um, and this was the first time that they introduced now and anybody knows they introduced this stand, but it was definitely a reusable stand. It came with so many different figures, not even Captain America figures. It was just so many different iterations. Uh, so again, not too dissimilar from the original, a little bit of weathering on this suit, but this was the battling version and this is what you got. So again, both versions of the civil war suit. Let's see, this is when everything basically took a turn for the worst after that, because after we get into this one okay we're moving into more of the end game we got it we got because we again not in game infinity war we move from that particular version and we advance into infinity war because that's when a lot changed that's when we knew that everything was changing at that point and we got a couple of different iterations of that now we're starting with the infinity war first okay um, there was the movie promo version, which we'll start with first. Um, now, I didn't get this. I had a chance to get it, but I didn't go after. But here's the thing. It was, it's crazy how this sat for a while. And I guess it was because a lot of people weren't really used to this. You know, again, the suit that he's wearing right now was the Civil War suit. It was a modified version, a more weathered version of the Civil War suit, because that was the only suit uh, that he had. He didn't have his shield because at the end of the um, Civil War, he left the suit with i mean he left the shield with tony so this is what we actually got a more grizzled you know uh uh uh, uh, uh steve rogers uh but also accompanied by the shields that he got from wakanda uh, so we got a chance to see him when he was facing the chitari and then also that pivotal scene at the very end uh when everybody vanished but definitely a suit that was available but you know and it got like that chitari i mean sort of chitari uh, 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 stand that came, you know, with the diorama, uh, but a suit that was kind of divisive amongst a lot of people, and it sat for a while, but eventually sold out. So, again, that's the battling version. The regular version is not different from it. It came with the, you know, um, uh, 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 you know, a regular stand. Uh, you got one of the spear. You got the spear from the Black Order themselves. Like, uh, uh, I think it was. Um, Oh man, who who I, you know what? Let's go and let's take a look at it. I forget the name of the character. Um, you know, basically part of the order. Um, you know, let me see here. It was give me a second here. Because it came with that accessory, because you got the spear which you were able to use with it. Um, you got that black widow basically behind them. Uh, but I keep forgetting because I know it came with it. Oh no, maybe it didn't. I think it did like the spear was basically an accessory that did come with uh the figure um that you could actually get with i think it came with one of them i'm not really sure keep me honest because i didn't have the figure enough to know uh but again not too different or dissimilar from what we got um from you know the original but moving on from there is when we're heading into endgame now with endgame uh again we're going now we're getting into that space we're looking at Cap and his coveted chain mail. That chain mail was phenomenal. It's the coveted chain mail. Now, remember, there's two different versions here, but this was the one 
um, that we definitely got here um, with his chainmail on his on 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 his uh, his chest plate. So we finally got that one. This is the one that I do have in my collection, Weathered Shield. So I did get a chance to actually get that one as well. Um, so it does come with everything, accessories. Like it, here's the thing: is this one was a tad bit weathered, uh, but it did come with the weathered shield as well. So you got a chance to get this piece, really incredible piece. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, we're we're getting down to the wire of what we would want to be or what we could perceive as being the definitive version. Again, crack shield. I have this one. If you look in my di display right now, you actually see him in a display with Thanos. Um, so again, we did get this version. They did give us a slightly modified head sculpt, the updated head sculpt. And this one came with a lot of controversy because it took a while for people to get this in their collection. I remember you had to wait like a few years or a year out to finally get it. So it did definitely take a while. But, you know, people did manage um, to get this piece. So definitely an incredible piece um, to have in your collection. No matter how long it may, it might have take, it take, you know, took, you know, took you to get it. You got it. You know what I mean? Um, but moving on, we did get an up because here's the thing. Because remember, in Endgame, before we actually saw this suit, there was another suit that we actually got from Endgame. He he read on the stealth suit. But with this particular suit, and this is where it got kind of controversial because we didn't really see him with the shield. But yet they gave us the shield with this. Because in the movie, he didn't have the shield. Remember, he didn't get this back until he had conversation or after he made amends with tony but it was good to have this in your collection because again it was a re-sculpted head sculpt better retooled i thought it was decent it was an amazing um figure even though i didn't get a chance to get it um and it, this was an exclusive it was an exclusive i think it was like a toy fair exclusive at that time so again you had to get in, in line to get it there were some people that got it and this on the aftermarket went for a mint I wasn't after it. I was cool. But again, this is one that, you know, a lot of people wanted. A lot of people, you know, were able to get. But it was met with a little trepidation, again, because of the simple fact that, um, you know, things were kind of like they took liberties, put it that way. But welcome liberties nonetheless. So, hey, like it, love it. It was still something that I think that was definitely a phenomenal piece to have in your collection. So the question is here's a question we're going to stop there because the question is if you're looking at these figures right all of them in your mind what is the definitive piece for you because everybody might actually have their own take on what's definitive which figure or which steve rogers do they love the most which one represents everything character wise or it looks good in their display or it's a it's a go-to figure for me i'm going to tell you right off the bat what mine is okay I'll tell you right off the bat what mine is right now, okay? My definitive piece of my collection goes to, drum roll here, is this concept, Steve Rogers. I'm sorry. If you have this in your collection, you'll understand why. All black suit, all black shield, and you get two of them. Yo, this piece right here is phenomenal. It was in the, a Toy Fair exclusive for 2018, and I made sure that I did not miss out on it. Again, this is 2018 before the world shut down. So if you managed to get this in your collection, you had such an incredible piece. That's just the way I felt. That's the way I'll continue to feel. I am not dialing it back. This is the definitive Captain America Steve Rogers figure in my collection. Again, yours might be different, but for me, this is the definitive Captain America. You heard it first. This right here, the comic concept art version is my definitive. I stand on business with that. You might see different. But there you have it, folks. This is my definitive Captain America in my collection. So I just wanted to kind of speak to that. So again, what is yours? Let us know what is your definitive look, because I know what mine is. Yours might be totally different, but we welcome it nonetheless. Again, this is Leo Rockwell for the 1-6 Scale Man YouTube channel. Do me a favor. Hit that bell notification. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you are up to date and notified as to when we got a new video and everything dropping. But until then... Have a nice weekend. Have a good one. This has been the definitive take and we are out. I love y'all. Have a blessed weekend. And again, peace.